Hi everyone, it's Melanie and welcome back to Living Luxuriously for Less, where we celebrate, decorate, and enjoy everyday life for less. Today I'm going to share with you guys some amazing transformations that I have done on venues that were least expected to be beautiful. That is hotel meeting rooms, some church sanctuaries, and more. So if you guys are interested in this content, stay tuned. So here is the hotel meeting room that I was tasked into transforming into an elegant first birthday party. The chairs were mixed matched. The tables were also mixed matched. And there was just so much furniture in this small space and none of the tables were the proper size. So what I had to do was go in and align the tables in a way that I felt like best suited the space. And I put together four of the small classroom size tables in order to create one larger table. And so here is what the layout ended up being for the space. And then I had to move the chairs into the space after I got the backdrop and everything together. And so um, for as far as the furniture, like the yellow furniture that did not match the scheme, I pushed all of that furniture to the back of the room so that it was hidden by the drapery. So here is the drapery, you guys. Here is what the space looked like after the white chair covers. <laughs> they did amazing. I had once said that I would not use chair covers anymore, but I'm going to take that back because there are some spaces that actually need chair covers to draw your eyes away from the flooring or from the room. And so here is what it looked like. I ended up, you know, creating three different sets of tables. They had, um, they had 30 guests. And so I had 10 people at each estate table. And this was a winter wonderland theme. Uh, and the little girl turned one, they wanted an elegant theme. And so I thought this was really adorable. Um, her colors were silver, rose gold and white. And just adding in that extra element, I think it just turned out absolutely incredible. So here's kind of what the tablescape looked like up close. I did add a little snowflakes onto the wine glasses to bring in that winter wonderland element against the greenery. I also felt like the greenery really broke it up to give it that wintry look and it just turned out absolutely adorable. And believe it or not, when the little girl came in and saw it, like she just was like jumping up and down. So I think she's gonna be a little fancy little girl. So for the dessert table, as you guys know, like Rachel did an incredible job on the desserts. We um, kind of kept with the whole Winter Wonderland theme there and the desserts just turned out absolutely phenomenal. And then I kind of hung some snowflakes down uh, by the dessert table and added in the cone trees that were in the silver. And then for the dessert table, I used all my bling pieces and my bling stands that were gifted to me by my girl, Carrie. I absolutely love the way it turned out. And then we use up lighting to spotlight the snowflakes and to give the entire back of the room the blush look. It turned out absolutely incredible. So this is a close up look at all of the desserts. We had macaroons, um, Rice Krispie treats, cake pops, cookies, and the cake was actually a fake cake. And for her little chair, um, we added balloons on her chair and the balloons that cascaded from her chair also matched the balloons that cascaded from the centerpiece. Moving on to the next place that I was able to transform and that was a bridal show. And I'm going to do a video for you guys detailing how you should prepare for a bridal show from start to finish. Um, after I was putting it together, I figured out that it should probably yeah, be a, a mini class because it is jam packed candy. with information, but this is going to be a super affordable mini class. So you guys stay tuned for that information. Right. Look down in the so, description okay, box um, below. 
The next place that I transformed was a ministry. Yes, you guys. Yes. They were celebrating one of their pastors. And so we decided to transform the space. And this is what the sanctuary looked like before. And here is what it looked like after. Yes, it is the same space, you guys. We covered up everything with the draping in the back. And because it was a male, I used the feathers. And again, I used the white um, spandex chair covers. And then on the main table, I actually used navy blue. Uh -huh. I also kind of um, coordinated the sashes with whatever napkin. So I used white, uh, the white bands on the head table with the navy blue. And then I used silver on the white. And I just thought that it looked really good that way. And I just, I thought it was absolutely incredible. If you guys are wondering how to create these feather centerpieces, I will leave all of that information down in the description box below. Fine. The last transformation that I made was on the Westin, well, a derivative of the Westin Hotel. Um, this is a great transformation for like Valentine's Day or for an engagement or uh, just a surprise date or picnic. Now this was kind of uh, a suite and this is what the suite looked like before. It did have a small kitchenette area, a living space, a large bathroom and a bedroom. So yeah, it was pretty loaded. Um, so, so many different areas for you to transform here, especially if you're doing like an engagement or um, a couple's picnic. I mean, the opportunities for this, you know, are definitely limitless. And so, yeah, they just have some really cool spaces. And I love the fact that this one also had a sky view. It really adds to the ambiance, especially at night. So I do love that fact. And then you can also decorate like the countertop, um, the cabinets. And there's so many different areas that you can kind of stage for the whole romantic evening or romantic afternoon or whatever it is that they are shooting for it so this is kind of what this entire space looked like before um, along with the bedroom and the bathroom and then i'm going to show you guys what it looked like after and so here is the beginning of the after of the space i go into detail in my valentine's day bundle on how you celebrate uh, valentine's day and how you set this up step by step so definitely this class is so worth it i'll leave all the information down in the description box below i hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed these tips on transforming the space take what you have to create what you need you guys that is the key i hope you guys enjoyed this i'll see you at the next video don't forget to check the description box down below much love and many blessings until next time cheers Thank you.